Bonjour tout le monde, and welcome to a What Sold for the week of July 3rd through July 9th. That is Sunday, July 3rd through Saturday, July 9th. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. I am a part-time reseller, full-time French teacher, and I resell on uh, platforms such as eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari every now and then. A sale or two on Facebook Marketplace, but not much. So I am sitting, if you can see me scrolling, I'm sitting right here in my Vendu Chrome extension um, so that we can look at what is selling for me or what has sold for me in the past week. Um, I'm not, I haven't been putting out what sold videos like I should. And I think that's important, um, especially if you're a reseller and you're watching these, to find out what is selling for other resellers, how much are things selling for, because I think it helps us all um, be better about our business and make better business decisions. You know, it's fun to do thrift hauls. It's fun to go thrifting and to show people what you found. And you can find the greatest stuff in the world, but not be able to sell it, right? So um, it's like, uh, is what, you know, some of our, some of these resellers, me included out there, is what we're finding also selling. That's very important. So let's look at, at those sales um, very quickly. And I'm going to start with my, um, I'm just going to start here because I know that anything below this down here where you see the the toms and down further those were those were the week prior um so let's take a look here and let's just open this up this was carrots the bunny um and i bought him way before easter hoping he would sell at easter he did not but he finally did sell um for let me see if all that's on here no it is not um oh maybe it's up top it's up top so notice I put price sold $20. He actually sold as a bundle on Poshmark with a, a vest that I have had for years. I mean, well, not years, no. I've had it for about a year and it was a really bad buy, okay? I'm not even going to show it because it was a bad buy. But the woman who bought him has a, a baby under one year old who got very attached to a cousin's bunny and it was this exact bunny. So she went online to see if she could find that bunny and I had it, you know, that makes me happy. When she told me that story, that made me very, very happy. And so since I didn't have the vest listed in my Vendu, um, and I was honestly considering sending the vest to a uh, thrift store, you know, because it was just a bad purchase. The bunny actually sold for 15 and I just, I kind of gave her a, a bundle deal and gave her the vest for five bucks um, because this, th the story made me happy enough. So notice price sold $20, cost of item $5 and five cents. And that is a cost for the vest and the bunny put together. Okay, and my profit there was $10.95. Not bad. Not bad. All right, let's go back down. I sold these guys on Facebook Marketplace. Hugo Boss um, men's jeans. These came in a thread up rescue box, a thread up denim rescue box where each pair of jeans averaged me, I think, a dollar fifty four or something to that effect dollar forty five um but they were just some to me some basic black jeans button fly uh straight leg so i know sometimes you know that you're the style of jean um can can be indicative of whether a denim product sells well or not based on the style. So these were straight leg button fly, hidden button fly. Um, I, when did I list these? Notice that I listed them in March, on March 7th, and they sold in July. So what is that? March, April, May, June, July, 
they sold in four months. I feel like I've had them longer than that. And I would have to go back into my books and check. But they sold. So they sold all in $37. You see my fees, $4.93 on um, Facebook Marketplace. Cost of item, $1.45. Shipping expenses, $14.25. Because the buyer does pay for shipping in that final price over here but you know it comes out on us also when we bought purchased the label through Facebook and so my profit there was 1637 not a bad profit I'm not gonna cry about that all right let's take a look at the next one so those sold on July 3rd let's keep going up all right July 5th I sold these soft surroundings and Tilly's gauze wide leg pants i put lag and look and they were a women's size x they were really cool i'm gonna pull this picture up this stock photo um because they had this cool button detail that went up them and i tried them on i actually liked them but they were way too long for me i'm so short um so anyway uh they were i forget if they had linen in them or not Oh, this thing is slow today, isn't it? We may have to wait. They are 100% cotton. So, these sold on eBay on July 5th. That buyer was all in for $33.25. Fees, $4.70. My cost of these pants was $2.95. Shipping, $4.98. That was my cost on shipping. You get a discount for using ebay or you know doing your shipping through ebay you get a little discount and profit was twenty dollars and sixty two cents i'm happy about that profit okay let's go back um on july 5th also i sold a pair of american eagle high rise jegging jeans that were distressed women's size eight stretch distressed denim blue so they were the high rise jegging with super stretch um and these sold on ebay buyer was all in for 25.55 i paid three dollars and 55 cent in fees they cost me 512 i know i got them at one of my favorite thrift stores that i really can't get out of there under five dollars an item um, shipping expenses eight dollars and 45 cents so my profit was eight dollars and 43 cent um, American Eagle doesn't always bring in great profit, but they are usually a decent flip in that you usually don't hang on to them for too, too long. So I listed them at the end of May and they sold at the beginning of July. So, you know, less than 90 days. Um, I just, again, I probably 512 too much to pay for American Eagle jeans. So that may be one of those things that I look at going forward. Obviously, looking at style, checking comps on the different styles. Um, American Eagle with stretch in it does better than American Eagle without stretch. I don't know, but I'd be willing to bet um, that women's do better than men's, but don't quote me on that one. Um, and then also making sure that, that I have a lower cost of goods for American Eagle going forward but I do like picking it up. I love selling it. Okay. So this is Studio by Torrid on July 4th. I sold this Studio by Torrid blazer. So this came from my neighbor, Debbie. She gave me several um, bags of clothes and I am consigning for her and I get half of what the profit is after fees and shipping and, and all of that. So we will split that down the middle. Um, and if, if you're interested and you're like, how do you do that? How does that work? Now, so far I've got a, a verbal agreement. So notice in my SKU, I put Debbie. So after about a month, I will do in my Vendu, I can do a search based on SKU. So I can type in Debbie, see what all has sold. Look at that total profit and just divide it in half. And I give her that money. You know, that's how that goes. That's uh, as easy as that works for me. And in my inventory room, I have a reusable grocery bag. And when I list something of hers, I put it in that reusable grocery bag. So when I see something that sells that says Debbie, 
I go straight to that grocery bag and pull it right out. That's just how I do it. It could work different for different people. All right, so this sold on Mercari. The buyer paid $18. I paid $2.62 in fees. Okay, so no, no item cost came from Debbie. No shipping expenses. That is paid for by the buyer in Mercari. So profit was fifteen thirty eight. So I will make roughly seven, you know, fifty, I don't know, fifty something out of it. So there we go. All right, let's go to the next thing. Um again on July 4th, I sold this Ava and Viv top. This came in a, I want to say it was either a thread up box or a Goodwill blue box. I can't remember which one. And I, I entertained keeping it, but man, I, I got to get rid of some clothes. I still have way too many clothes, more than I need. But it is an Ava, Viv, Ava and Viv blouse top, size 2X, crepe, gauze, lattice trim, lightweight, flowy. Um... And I, it's a beautiful little like ap apricot color. And I think it was called apricot glaze. Um, was it? I don't think it was new with tags. Um, no, I don't think it was. I would have shown the tag if it was. Anyway, there it is. Um, it was $3. That's what I paid for it. Sold it for $17.20 on eBay. Two forty-eight in marketplace fees, three dollars eighty-one cents to ship. So my profit was seven dollars and ninety-one cent. Not a bad profit for Ava and Viv. Now this is not one of those things that I I would source on my own um, to resell. Yeah, I wear it myself. I their clothes are cute, they're comfortable, I like them. But it came in a mystery box and I listed it. So I don't mind making a profit of almost eight dollars on. A target brand I have no problem with that okay those little sales to me they do add up and notice that I listed it on June 30th and I sold it by July 4th quick flip quick flip and I would be willing to guess that a lot of some of these plus size target brands when you price them right they are gonna flip well all right, Charter Club, I feel like I've had this forever, and honestly, I had to double check to make sure I still had it, because um, it was like, I feel like it's been a while since I've put my eyes on this item. Charter Club embroidered boho hippie festival top size 2X. It was all, all of this was embroidered, very cute, looks like it would be very, very comfortable. Um, I listed it on December 21st first finally sold it on seven six i wouldn't pick up charter club again okay i just wouldn't so again mistake um you know so i think as resellers we do make mistakes i probably bought this mainly on size and style but size and style don't always sell something and this is a good example of when size and style don't work so, because I thought that it did look very boho, I thought it looked very festival, and the fact that it was a 2X. Um, and Charter Club is not a bad brand. I wear it. Uh, where is it sold? Where is Charter? Is it sold at Macy's? I can't remember, but it's not a terrible brand. So notice I sold it for $21.60 on eBay, $3.05 in market fees. I paid $3.45 for it. Cost me five fifty five. Five fifty-seven to send it or to ship it and it, my profit was nine dollars and fifty three cents so maybe i would pick up cute charter club plus size at the bins if i can get it for a dollar or less but i wouldn't wouldn't pick it up for this again it sat way too long and i am i don't want to be a storage facility all right Next one was this Jimmy Choo perfumes bag. So apparently, I think this bag was probably a free gift if you spent a certain dollar amount in Jimmy Choo perfumes. And it was so buttery soft. 
oh my gosh, it felt so good. I was trying to see, let me see this tag. Yeah, it's not, le it was not leather. It was PU, which I think stands for polyurethane. Um, but it felt like butter. It felt so good. I got it at the bins. So it cost me $3.50. The bins closest to my house charge $3.50 for bags and $3.50 for shoes. They do everything else by the pound. Um, so I know I paid three fifty dollars for it. Um, I know that I've had it listed long, way longer than June, January 29th. January 29th was probably a D-list, relist, or something. I was honestly getting ready to take this bag to buy, sell, trade, and see if I could unload it that way. I just have very little success selling bags. Anyway, it sold on July 7th. It sold for $15. My fees sold on Poshmark. My fees were $3. Poshmark charges 20%. Cost of item, $3.50. So my profit was $8.50. Next time when it comes to this, I will check comps. I probably didn't do a lot of comp checking back then. Um, you know, in our early days, we might be, there might be times, especially at the bins, where you're careless because you know you're not spending as much. This thing, look at this. Look at this date listed, date sold. I have had this thing forever. And I really thought this was a good brand, but I had no luck with it at all. And this was actually like f featured in Gilmore, Gilmore Girls. I think this sweater was worn. I mean, not this specific sweater, but this style of sweater was worn by somebody from Gilmore Girls. And I thought, oh, this is going to be great. I got it in a thread up mystery box a 25 piece women's mystery box. And I was like, Oh yay. You know, I got something that is socially recognized and recognized in the entertainment industry. And it sat forever, nine months. It's sad. And it's a pretty sweater. It's this gorgeous terracotta color. It buttons up the back. I thought it was the cutest thing. So it's the all saints Elgar cowl neck sweater in a size extra small that could have been a reason it sat so long. Sometimes those smaller sizes sit for a long, long time. Um, but it finally sold for $20. I thought it would go for more than that. So my fees were $4. It cost me $2.50 at a profit of $13.50. And it, like I said, it sold on Poshmark. All right, let's keep going. We're almost done, you guys. Um, okay, so next we have this one. This was a surprise to me because would you please look? Date listed, date sold. I'm not kidding you. It sold in less than 24 hours. A lot of times I second guess myself when something like that happens and say, oh my God, did I price it right? But, you know, when I found this at the bins, I checked comps and I saw that they do sell consistently in the 20 to 25 dollar range um and it was super lightweight so i figured you know I, i'm happy if you know i can sell something for 20 dollars or more it's a cute dress it was this t-shirt dress tie-dye ruching on the sides if you can see that ruching um and it was by the brand anti-star and i think you say anti-star maybe it's anti-star um, anyway, it's a side rouge t-shirt dress. It was size small, um, blue tie-dye, short sleeve, and it was super soft. Unbelievably soft. I did get it bins. Um, I put that my cost of goods was a dollar. My, um, you know, that was the average poundage. It was actually 94 cents, but you know, we can, I can mentally add six cents to this and see. So, um, it sold on Mercari for 20 bucks. My fees were $2.88. It cost me a dollar. My profit was $16.12. That's a fast flip. You know, that's a really fast flip. I like that. All right. Let's go back. Um, now we've got this one. I have been holding on to this one for a while. That date listed is not the true date listed. 
Um, I've had this for quite a while. This is a, a date that I delisted and relisted it. It sold on eBay. Um, it was an Adriana Papel linen blend dress with a jacket, size 18W or 18 woman, and it's new with tags, you see. But it, it is dead stock. I don't think this one was made anymore. So it's a linen rayon, and I thought it was beautiful. Um, but it took a long time for it to sell. And I'm so glad that it finally, finally did. So it had sold on eBay all in for $48.66. Fees were $7.44. It cost me $9. I paid up for it because it's linen or a linen blend. And it was more of a dress that you could potentially wear as mother of the bride, which I think I put as a tag on there. At least I thought, you know, it was more of a, um, more of a formal type dress. So I thought it would bring in a little bit more money and it still had the tags. Shipping expenses, $14.25. So my profit on that dress was $17 and 97 cents. Um, what? I don't think I would pay that for that again. I think it would have to be a really special piece for me to pay that high for that again. So, yeah, you know, you live and learn, right? Okay. And is that going to be it? No. What date did I say, you guys? Through the ninth? <laughs> like, what date did I give you guys? Let me pull up my calendar. Yes. Anything that's sold through the ninth. Okay. Um, all right, so this, yeah, this is going to be the last one. These O'Neill pants. So these are O'Neill men's convertible cargo pants, shorts, size 33, nylon, kite, cotton, hiking, fishing. So these were the kind of pants. Let me pull this picture up for y'all. You see that flap? There's a zipper under there. You can zip off the legs and make them into shorts. I looked everywhere online. I could only find these in a women's for O'Neill. Like, that's the only thing I could find. But they're a size 33. And they don't do their women's sizing that way. They do their women's sizing, you know, just like other companies, like 2, 4, 6, 8. So it's like, well, this makes no sense. Um, but I went ahead and I listed them anyway. And you see that I put in measurements. Okay, so they sold. Um, notice that they sold the same day. They sold the same exact day that I listed them. Again, could I have listed them higher? Maybe. I didn't have any identical comps to go on. So I just went with what I considered mid-range convertible pants. And I listed them at 20 and they sold for 20 they sold for my full asking price. Yeah, I, maybe I should have gone higher, but that's okay. That is okay. Um, they sold on Mercari. I paid $2.88 in fees. They cost me $5.12, which means they came from CHKD. That's my that's one of my favorite thrift stores. Um, and I, the one that I can't get out for under $5 per item. And then so my profit there was $12. Yeah, I probably could have gotten more, but that's okay. That's all right. Sales are good. That's, you know, that's where I'm going to go with that. Sales are good. So that should have been 12 items that I showed you guys. Let's go here. This is what I love about Vendu. Let's go here to my analytics. And what did my sales from that range look like? So I said we went from 7.3 to 7.9. We can see I sold 12 items. That is down from the week before. So not as good as the week before. That that range from July 1st through July 2nd just blew my mind. But um, anyway, I just figured I'm, I'm really bad about making what sold videos. I don't know. I was doing them for every two weeks. And I thought maybe I'm overwhelmed by that sheer amount of sales. So maybe doing them every week would be 
better because I don't have as many to go through. Um, during that week, I did not list as much. So guys, that stands to reason. If I don't list as much, I shouldn't sell as much. Okay, that logic works out. This makes me happy that my average sale price was higher. Okay, and so I sold a total of $296.26 worth of things for those 12 items. And my profit, what I put in my pocket, $157.28. Okay, so that's really good. And you can see here, so if you're not using a cross-listing app, you can kind of see how mine looks. Um, notice that I had sales every day. Every day, except on that Sunday of July 9th. I didn't have a single sale on July 9th. All right. But that's a Saturday. That's a Saturday. Yeah, I didn't have a sale on July 9th. Um, let's take a look at, I like this, this chart right here, average sale price by marketplace. Notice my average eBay, eBay sale price is $30 and 54 cent. And that's because the shipping is always added into that sale price. Um, Mercari and Poshmark, almost even. Um, notice that my top selling subcategories, I sold two, two dresses. I sold two tops. Um, and then the rest is one of each thing. I don't know. They, they are having to do my top selling brands alphabetically because I don't have any brands this week that's that past week that sold, um, multiple brands of like, you know, I, there wasn't like, Hey, you sold three pairs of American Eagle jeans. No. Um, number of items sold by marketplace. I sold six things on eBay three on Mercari and three on Poshmark. So that is my sales for the week of July 3rd through July 9th. Very excited to do next, this, this coming week sales, which would be July, what is it? Okay. July 10th through the 16th coming up because I have a really fun sale for July 10th. That I can't wait to talk about. So, um, how are your sales going? Please let me know down in the comments below. Um, I'm part time, you know, and I, it doesn't look like, you know, that I am turning over thousands of dollars worth of stuff, but this makes me happy. All right. So I'm happy with this. I would like to see it be a little bit more. I need to put some more effort into it and I will. I'm just enjoying time with my son while he's visiting from Minnesota. I have been traveling back and forth to my sister's house who lives an hour and a half away so that we can liquidate our aunt's um, home now that we have put her into an assisted living facility. Um, we have been having yard sales. We have been selling stuff. And I'm not going to lie, you guys. I've got, I'm going to make a couple of haul videos of some of the stuff that I have brought home to sell in order to keep her in the home um, to try to put towards her account at the home that we've put her in. I came home with so much stuff. <laughs> I just am overwhelmed. And I will do some haul videos on that if you're interested in seeing some vintage, truly vintage stuff. So stay tuned. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, would you please consider subscribing, especially knowing that I've got a series of videos coming up on what came out of a house of a woman who has lived there for 34 years. Um, I'm going to have to do that in bits and pieces. And if you like this type of video, like seeing what sold, you like the format that I presented it in, would you please give me a thumbs up? And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, à tout à l'heure. See you later.